Hello and welcome to another update video about Q&T. Um, not too much has happened uh, since the last update, so we are going to zoom out a little bit first. Um, talked about all-time high targets, I think in one of the last videos. Um, would like to repeat that here and then also post this chart uh, or this video in the long-term video section. By the way, if you're interested in finding out about long-term targets for certain coins, check out our long-term video playlist here on YouTube. Um, we've got uh, quite up-to-date ones because to be honest, the all-time high targets for the next bull run haven't really changed for the coins in this bear market, not, not significantly. So you will find quite up-to-date ones there. Um, important to understand is that we probably rallied and that is the bullish interpretation. We rallied in September 21 and formed a wave one. Then we came down in, um, in a correction and uh, possibly ended here the wave two in June 22. We could now rally next in a third wave like this. Then there should be a fourth and a fifth wave. And as far as we can see it at the moment, this fifth wave, so we should see, you know, wave two happened. That's at least the current interpretation. Then we should see five waves up in wave three this should take us sort of into the region between 734 to $900 between the 1.618 and the 200% extension. This is sort of just a, just a rough idea where it's going to land based on current prices, based on what we see now, just a projection out. If we get to a third wave, then it should reach this. Then we should get a fourth wave, typically a shallow correction, and then another wave up in a fifth wave which could reach, well, textbook target here would be 1160, the 2.618 Fibonacci extension. This then again, as far as we can see it now, unless you get another cascade of one, two setups here, should form a larger wave one, which would then most likely be corrected again in a wave two in a large ABC correction. That could be the next bear market. Yeah, uh, that's sort of as far as we can see now, um, and then you should get another third wave up, you know, and it should take it higher and higher eventually if we maintain and if the bulls can allow Q and T to rally over the next cycles as well. Yeah, this is sort of the projection also the next all time high targets. How long such a move will take is very hard to say. <clears throat> Q and T certainly created its wave one in just a few months. Yeah, I think here uh, four months maybe, yeah, and the wave one was in and the correction then took place between September 21 and June 22, so a little bit longer. Um, and yeah, we could now be in the third wave already and might have formed here a wave one and a wave two. That view is valid and likely as long as we're holding the $61 level. Below that level, I'm going to change my view probably to something more bearish, but at the moment I have no intention to. Um, there's no need. And then we could now rally in the third wave of the third wave next, the fourth wave and the fifth wave. That's sort of what we're looking for now in this green main third wave. Now looking at the shorter time frame, yeah, not too much happened since the last video. Let me just adjust it slightly. Um, we obviously um, talked about that we, we have a chance that we bottomed here on the um, 10th of March at around $106. That's the current interpretation that we bottomed in a wave two and moved up in five waves in the first wave of this blue third wave. We then came down in three waves, ABC into the support area, turned around at the golden ratio. Nice turnaround in the um, trend reversal area. But so far it has failed to rally and continue impulsively. We also have a bearish count or let's say short term bearish count, which is this one where we moved down in five waves. We completed here fourth wave and could now come down in a fifth. This is still likely <clears throat> and probable. However, as long as we're holding the $112 level here, I am focused on the upside below $112. The yellow count with a breakdown to $100, maybe lower will come into the focus. And that's really where we are. So ideally, ideally it doesn't drop below the $117 level again. This was the golden ratio bottomed here on the 28th of March. And ideally we're now rallying in a third wave. 
That would be, based on what we can see now, the current interpretation. However, it might be that we come down a little lower in this wave too. Yeah, because so far, yes, we have a nice three wave move down, but so far no bullish reaction to it. But we would need that bullish reaction for the price to rally in that third wave. And just a quick reminder about targets, this circle wave three, I mean, the standard target would be the 1.618 extension. We talk here about $163, but due to the subwave structure, it seems likely that we're going to go higher than that. But this would sort of be what we could look at first. Um, but first of all, it needs to break now above the $128 level first, the small wave one high here and then 134.67. When that happens, the yellow count will certainly become less probable. Yeah, and that's my update about q and I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.